This 750-ton fusion reactor facility, Wendelstein 7X, located in Germany, has set a major new milestone for nuclear fusion energy. The facility houses a special type of fusion reactor, a so-called optimized Stellarator, which has been continuously expanded since 2015. The concept of the Stellarator was considered outdated, however, a supercomputer has changed this perception. After the U.S. Department of Energy had reported about the historical breakthrough in nuclear fusion by achieving a net energy gain for the first time in history, the milestone of German scientists is the next on schedule to bring the dream of unlimited clean energy one step closer to reality. Advancements in artificial intelligence are promising to finally realize a 70-year-old dream that scientists could not have been able to achieve. Join us as we explore the AI-powered German fusion reactor that sets a new milestone and changes everything for nuclear fusion energy. The effort to develop a nuclear fusion reactor capable of creating abundant sustainable energy, or imitating the sun, has taken another step ahead for physicists. Fusion has been a type of holy grail, as it has the potential to be a source of safe, clean nuclear energy if successfully harnessed. Fusion involves connecting atoms rather than splitting them. Unlike nuclear fission reactors, which means no hazardous radioactive waste is produced. Therefore, the fusion reactor ITER is currently being constructed in a collaborative effort of several countries in France. Its purpose is to demonstrate the functionality of the so-called tokamak concept. This concept belongs to the magnetic confinement method and involves a total of 24 gigantic field coils, weighing up to 400 tons. The plasma is confined within a donut-shaped magnetic cage. However, the concept has a problem. ITER can only be operated in pulses. The fusion process will never transition to continuous operation, even after the completion of ITER. The reason for this is the fusion process automatically extinguishes itself after only a few hours and needs to be restarted again, just like an oven that turns off on its own. This can only be prevented through enormous additional costs, which makes no economic sense. However, Scientists at Germany's Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics have solved this problem with a different approach and the help of AI. In the new experimental Stellarator, Wendelstein 7X, the plasma is also confined to a fixed trajectory. But this trajectory is different. It is not a perfectly shaped donut or torus, but a multiplied twisted thick band. This plasma shape was determined through elaborate simulations by a supercomputer. The specific shape of the plasma path ensures that each individual plasma particle is exposed to exactly the same magnetic field throughout the fusion process. Each magnet of this structure weighs 6 tons and ensures that the plasma remains fixed within the trajectory and does not come into contact with the reactor wall under any circumstances. Otherwise, the plasma would immediately cool down, causing the fusion process to stop. The inner walls of the reactor must withstand extremely high temperatures, temperatures many times greater than that experienced by a rocket entering the atmosphere. This robustness is crucial since the plasma reaches a temperature of 100 million degrees Celsius. At such temperatures, the atomic nuclei fuse to form helium, releasing energy in the process similar to what occurs at the core of the sun. To withstand these extreme conditions, the reactor has been upgraded by an advanced cooling system. 6.8 kilometers of water pipes have been installed to cool down the device. However, there is no danger posed by the reactor during operation. The plasma consists of only one milligram of hydrogen, and even a tiny disruption would automatically extinguish the fusion process. A destructive meltdown chain reaction is not possible as it is in the nuclear fission process. It is rather challenging to sustain the fusion process and keep the structure of hot ionized gas or plasma alive. But for the first time, the Stellarator generated plasma with an energy expenditure of a whopping 1.3 gigajoules for more than 8 minutes. This breakthrough represents a significant advancement in the pursuit of practical nuclear fusion. 
bringing scientists closer to harnessing the immense power of fusion reactions for sustainable energy production. And with the most recent advancements in AI, it is getting more and more involved in scientific discoveries. AI can operate millions of simulations in seconds to predict the possible outcome, while it would take years for human beings. Google's DeepMind has developed an AI to control the plasma completely autonomously. In this example, you can see how DeepMind's AI was able to autonomously figure out how to create these shapes by manipulating the magnetic coils in the right way. Both in the simulation and when the scientists ran the same experiments for real inside the tokamak to validate the simulation. It represents a significant step that could influence the design of future tokamaks or even speed up the path to viable fusion reactors. Still, fusion offered a particular challenge to DeepMind scientists because the process is both complex and continuous. Unlike a turn-based game like Go, which the company has famously conquered with its AlphaGo AI, the state of a plasma constantly changes. And to make things even harder, it can't be continuously measured. It is what AI researchers call an underobserved system. Either way, after the announcement of the century, where American scientists have achieved a net energy gain through a process called ignition, the German milestone brings humanity one step closer to a sustainable form of energy. With the advancements of AI, the path towards a sustainable clean energy form will be accelerated. The only question is, who makes it first? China is also heavily investing in fusion and China's fusion reactor continues to achieve one record after another. The goal of Chinese researchers is to sustain the fusion process for an entire week. Watch the displayed video if you want to learn more and subscribe to this channel to not miss any new video.